think I was quite lucky in that by the time I was doing my own research, I fell upon Create quite quickly. Once you start going down the IVF route, I started talking to people that had also gone down that route and started taking advice from, from other people and actually I stopped myself from doing that in the end because what works for one person and what feels right for one person is completely different to the other. So, you know, some people want to go down the heavy IVF, you know, give me everything, hook me up to all the drips and all that kind of stuff. Whereas for me, I was just like, no, I want to do as least possible to keep everything as natural as possible. I went all in when I decided to have IVF um, on the health side of things because I think what can quite quickly happen with IVF is you feel out of control. I needed to take back some control myself. That said, you know, anxiety still crept in, but when it did, I'd just take myself to the woods <laughs> and, you know, just try and, uh, try and be as calm and peaceful as possible. It's so easy for women to blame themselves. So, you know, I'm having IVF because something doesn't work or I'm having IVF because, you know, I'm failing at something. That's not the case. I think you should get really excited about IVF because you know, you're going down a, a path where the reason you're having IVF, you've, you've been accepted for it, which means there's an absolute chance that you can get pregnant. So try and approach it that I'm here because there's a chance that this could work. You wouldn't be able to have IVF if there was no hope. So you know, there's hope in IVF. Mm -hmm.